to me now, please. Please, please. Okay, I want to eat. Give me. Okay, if you're not addicted to it, okay, let's do it this way. Let me see if it's just a mere life or you're addicted to it. Okay, let's do it this way. You see? I just love nuts. No, I'm just kidding. You see? She's addicted to it. I am not. Come on, keep it up, baby. Mother, I am not. I just love nuts. I want to even try. Mm, yummy. Fresh and meat. Just the way I like them. How much, please? How? Any problem? Helena Sadebe. Helena Sadebe. Wait. Chimu Kiki. It's me! What? Community Secondary School. Yes! <laughs> I survive without you. You know you're everything I've got. You're not just like a school mother to me, but also a mother to me. <laughs> You'll be fine. I'm sure of that. But at least they will allow you finish your secondary education here. The visa is out, and I can't postpone it. It's always hard to get one. <laughs> now listen to me. You'll be fine without me, okay? Don't worry, the God that brought us together will get a helper for you. <laughs> Come here. Oh, okay. Years ago, since you left the community secondary school to UK, I never knew I would see you again. I, I can't believe this. After 15 good years. <sighs> you could have looked out for her in the first place. She was that close to you. Oh, baby, I tried. I did. I did. Okay, well, not too many times. But I went to her father. But he couldn't help. There was no other mutual friend that I could have asked. Well, the most important thing is that both of you have finally reunited. That is the most important thing. I really need to help her. She needs help. She really needs help, but I do not know how. Giving her money seems to be the only option. But considering how we were and what she's been through, Something in me keeps telling me that she needs more than mere offer of good money. Hmm. I understand. You know, she's a hawker of cashew nut. You can as well make her an importer of cashew nut. By so doing, you will never, never run out of your favorite snack. Never mind. <laughs> I'll figure out a way myself. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm kidding. I was only joking. Boy, you know what to do now. <laughs> of course. See, you're a business consultant that companies pay millions of naira just to get your expert views on possible areas of investment. I think you're in the right position to know what to do for an old friend. I don't even know why you're going to me in the first place. I don't know. 
I wallow in literature and then my soul is so tied to it. Your soul? Mm -mm. Your soul is tied to me, not literature. And. And. So shall it be for both of us till death do us part. Till death do us part. <laughs> <laughs> but then she really needs help. I'll figure out something. Shitelessness can cause destruction and depression. Shitelessness can cause destruction and depression. I I haven't given it much thought. But it's a good decision, so I thought I should let you know. Well, I don't know why I should be involved in the first place. I was never consulted before you chose to be the cook. My king, you are still the head of this family. And certainly not the head of the kitchen. Well, I've got an important meeting to attend to and um, um, you will have to excuse me. The British High Commissioner is on his way to his hotel and um, I should be arriving there uh, before his entourage. Excuse me. My Queen, he hasn't been in his best mood lately. Have you noticed? My child, I share a bed with him every night. Meaning you've noticed too? My child, the king's attitude should not bother you. He is a king. Every other hour calls keep coming in. There must be a problem to solve or the other. So let him carry his cross. You see why I do not want to continue with this royalty thing? It's stressful. Mother, did you just say that? Yes, and I mean every word of it. Well, let us not talk about this. Let's talk about your friend you said you wanted to employ. Uh, yes, yes. Good. She's more of a sister than a friend. Really? You can actually vouch for her. You know, you told me that um, when it comes to cooking and taking care of the house, oh, she's the best. Sure, mother, she is the best. I have known her long enough to trust her. She can be trusted. So what are we waiting for? Let her come and start work immediately. Oh, you think I've not noticed how you've been struggling to <sighs> double as the cook and the career woman that you are? Oh my goodness. Thank you so much, mother. Thank you. Thank you so much, my mother. Thank you so much. You are just the best. Simply the best. <laughs> Thank you. Let her resume work immediately. Hmm? So that you won't be missing appointments simply because you want to rush back home to cook for us. Hmm? Okay. I'm actually going to the office. I don't know. If you wouldn't want to drive, I can give you a ride. Thank you, Your Majesty. Actually, driving is one of my hobbies. <laughs> so, okay. Thank you. Have a wonderful day. Thank you, Your Majesty. All right. All right. Child, there will be a hell in this kingdom. Looking for someone that will be a mad child, there will be a hell in this kingdom. Come on, sit down and tell me all about it. I told you she asked if I would want to work in the palace, and I told her yes. Then she called me earlier today and said 
that I will be resuming work this evening. Hmm, well, that's a wonderful piece of news. The best news ever since my baby was born. Congratulations, my darling. What is the problem? Have they taken the offer from you suddenly? You know, I never remember this particular incident because I tried so hard not to. Odogu, <laughs> you know, each time I see the way you destroy Luko, I feel intimidated. No man can have it all, my friend. True. For instance, look at you. Handsome and plain. What's more, you have this beauty by your side. <laughs> I'm not that lucky at all. Oh, do go. Is the drink? You can tell for yourself. I have never come across the kind of love I see between you and this woman. It's very strong. That. I know it's true. You may not also know that this is the truth. She cast a spell on you. Do you know that? Who cast a spell on who? I don't understand. <laughs> her stepmother. She does not want any child from her former husband's marriage to be used for at all. Wait, you mean that woman did something diabolical to my woman? You are not free either. The cause that was placed on your woman affects every man that comes close to her. Is that not the reason her life is the way it is now? Okay, Samaka. Everything you've said about my life is true, I accept. But you see this one? You see this one? It's beyond me. I also cannot explain what I'm saying. But it's just the truth. There is a spell. And that spell is very strong. Very strong, my friend. I'm not going anywhere. Why not? Why? Didn't you hear what he said? That man is a drone for crying out loud. Why are you disturbed over what he said? Baby, Ogaziamaka is never a drunk. Mm. He's not a drunk. He might drink too much, but he's never a drunk. Look, he's a powerful seer, and he never says things he's not sure of. Mm. I know because he's my friend, okay? Okay. Assuming what he said is the truth, how do you want to go about it? Physical? How can you possibly go physical about this? What will you achieve? Babe, I don't care. I just have to do something, anything. Obviously, you will do something about this, but not like this. Fine. Not in this state. Calm down. Calm down, I said. I should calm down and watch this woman ruin us? No. Baby, I am talking to you. Calm down. After some time, you forgot about it. But I never did. I know that I am not much of a religious type. But I never seek to ask God to take away any curse laid on me by anyone. Then later, 
I came to live with you. You told me that my sorrows will never last forever. But well, you didn't believe me when I said that. That was because all I saw around me was darkness. Yes, you are very kind. But I knew I could never depend on you for so long. I needed a breakthrough. And now you have gotten it. You will be living at the palace. That's the end of the sad stories for you. Eh? Come on, child. Okay. Come on. You don't need to be late on the first day. I think they might want you to prepare dinner for the first time. Okay. And please do not disappoint me. Because I know I have done good in teaching you all the kitchen etiquette. Okay? But there was no royal touch in your coaching, ma. Then add royal to whatever thing you're going to do there. And you'll be good. Okay? I'm doing this for you. I'm doing this for the love I have for you, my son. I'm doing this so that you can have all I could not have as a child. Just please stop. Eh? Do not teach this innocent boy what you don't need to know by now. Eh? So, what's that do? I miss you. Now get going. Get going. Don't you see. know it's your first day. Thank you so much. You're such an angel. But I got no wings. There are some angels that have no wings. You are one of those angels. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Be good, eh? Be your best and treat the job well. Okay? Now, get going. Listen. <laughs> Come on, it's okay. They are waiting for you. Be going. How could it be someone you love so much is in trouble? For me, it's love. The only one for me is you. Ooh, yeah. Every day I'm thinking about you. I'm crying and wait to see you again. This is Chi. She will be living here with us, working and living here as well. Chiwen, you already met school the other day. Yes, I did. Asama, she's probably worked the longest time here. Asama, princess, I just introduced Chiwen to you. Oh, oh, my princess, thank you very much. Um, please don't be offended. I was just wondering. Which work will she be doing since every position has been taken? Melody. She's worked the shortest time, but she is very good. Very, very good. <laughs> I also wish to remind you all that Chinwe is my friend. Well, more like a sister to me. So I would want you all to accord her the respect that you would accord me. And that's Asama, back to you. Yes, my princess. You asked a very good question. But the timing was inappropriate. Now to answer your question. Okay, my princess. Yes. Chimwe is taking over cooking from me. And it's effective from tomorrow.
I hope I'm clear and understood. Yes, my princess. I hope you like your room. Do I have a choice? <laughs> of course I like it. My sister, I have never had it better. <laughs> and who cares about comfort? The most important thing right now is that I will be earning a decent living from here. Now we are talking about comfort. We can as well talk about being presentable. I understand. This is actually the best among my dresses. I know it's not presentable enough to walk in the palace. But once my uniform is given to me, I will throw it away, please. Oh, same old Chinwe. <laughs> Fast thinker, smart and <laughs> hey, talkative. I know. I know. No, no, no. I wasn't going to say that. I wasn't <laughs> going to say that. Anyway, that's by the way. I would have to. You have to take this. This should be able to get you more befitting words. You can get more when you receive your first salary. Thank you very much. Uh, but I thought I was meant to be dressing in their uniform. No, 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 no. No uniforms. No uniforms for you. You are not just an employee. You are my friend and sister. And please, if there is anything that will make you working here a great experience for you, do not hesitate to let me know. And whatever it is, shall be considered. Thank you very much, my dear. I'm very grateful. You're welcome. Yeah. <laughs> now go and see more of the room. <laughs> Explore it. Yeah. <laughs> Chinwe. Same old heart. What am I not doing right? Everything I want, I watch another get. Does it mean this is not meant to be? Prince and I, should I give up then or find another way of getting him? Asama, are you not coming for permission today? What do you think about this new development? Is there any new development? The princess does not trust us with the food the royal family eats. First, she decided to cook by herself. And then she got tired and brought in her friend, sister, or whatever she is. I knew it. Of course you should. It is only that senseless, useless Uri who does not know that the princess does not trust us. I don't know that. I was going to say that I knew you were unhappy with Chinwe. Why should I? Tell me, why should I? She took the position I prayed for from me, from all of us. Can't you see? Can't any of you see that? Uh, um, the fellowship has started. I don't want to be late. You should come too. Maybe you will get some help from God. Fool. Why did I even talk to her? Thank you. Thank you. Good morning, Mom. Good morning, Dad. Good morning. How are you today? Good morning, How's the night? Hello. Hello. Good morning, Mom. Morning, How are you? Yeah. How was the night? Morning. Yeah. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, so welcome. Mommy, tea or coffee? Um, coffee. Always coffee. Black or with milk? Never mind. I'll do it myself. Uh, I'm 
Um, yeah. Chima, can you leave us now, please? Mm. No, 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 that's fine. Thank you. And um, where do you say she comes from? I know what is going through your mind now. But please, do not take her to the cleaners just yet. She will adapt. Please, let's give her the chance. My ever-intelligent wife of my son. You know you sure have a way with words. Hmm? Well, I can assure you that um, she has my patience. Thank you, Your Majesty. Thank you, Mom. <laughs> um, mind you, but those tacky ways, are they what she'll be working on? Oh, baby, she just came in last evening. Let's give her at least a day to adjust. Not to worry, I will see to that, okay? Please. Thank you. <laughs> so, how was your night, Your Majesty? Oh, well. Don't get yourself locked up. It's only your first time. Yeah. Hey, it's a lie. Please don't mind now. If I were you, I would worry. What is our first impressions? You see this here? Yes. Tell us the truth. What did they say about it? Tell us. Don't even try to come at me. Was I the one that asked her to mess with her? She did not mess up. I don't see how trying to personalize her services translates to messing up. I can still see the looks on their faces. It's very obvious that they are so unhappy with me. Yes, very unhappy. They are not happy with you at all. Come to think of it. Did you wear this to save them? The king, the prince, and the queen? Ah. Don't you have uniform? So you don't know what you're here for. You're here to save. You're a maid. You're here to serve as a maid. Okay? So you must always be in your uniform. Asama, oh. it's okay. It's a first day now. Leave her alone. So you don't want me to tell her the truth now. It's a first day. <clears throat> Sorry. That's it. You'll be fine, okay? The fourth day I set the king, I almost lost my balance because my feet worried. It happened to all of us, including some super women that I know. It did not happen to me, so you'll be fine. Thank you. Thank you. My dear, Chin, you see these people, they are lying to you. I am the only person that will tell you the truth in this palace. I just pray you last longer than a week. I just pray. Ia bot kwa o. Bokolo, okay? You're a medo. Always wear your uniform. Hmm? Good luck. See you. How could it be? Someone you love so much is in trouble. I did not know that. I thought I was doing the right thing. I'm so sorry if I embarrassed you. You did not embarrass me. And who said you did anything wrong? I understand that I wasn't supposed to watch the king eat. I'm sorry. Ching, the king is different from other kings you know. He is well grounded in courtesy and I believe you can adapt. My only worry is your appearance. I mean, your appearance when you serve the king, the queen, and the prince. Not only are they royalties, they are sophisticated people, well-traveled and exposed. Get the best of clothes with the money. Try not to save anything. No, no, I won't. And, and get your hair done. Okay, I will. What am I even saying? Hoping lets me drop you so that you can come back on time and do lunch. 
The king does not joke with his lunch. Helen, please, I appreciate everything you've done for me. But please, stop seeing me as your old friend that you must please. But you are an old friend that I, Helen, must please. No, I insist. You are my boss now. My boss that I will never stress and I will always respect. Please, you can go. I will sort myself out. Thank you. Chima, you surprise me each day. Come here. Thank you. All right. Get your hair done and on time. Have a nice day. <laughs> the sweetest work for me is love. The only one for me is you. Yeah. Every day I'm thinking about you. I'm crying. Wait to see you again. Oh, falling in love with you was the easiest thing I've done in my life. Oh. told me that you prefer to have your lunch here, so I'm, I'm setting the table for you, my friends. Yeah, I will have my lunch here. Mm. You don't have to wait for me, do it. Okay, sir. So. Of course. Yeah. He had to remind me that I shouldn't wait on him. <laughs> He does not want the episode at breakfast to happen again. Is that not what it's supposed to be? Mm -hmm. I mean, all those Nollywood royal films, I see. Yes. I know that the mates always wait on the kings, <laughs> queens, the princes and their princesses to eat. Well, those are movies. The make-believe world. This is life. Reality. Provided you made everything possible for the meal available, you don't have the right observing how they chew the food. If they need your further services, you shall be called the poor. <laughs> Chimwe. Mm. You look good. Thanks. Um, did your madam here not tell you that you're supposed to walk in your uniform? Probably she wants you sacked even before you started working. Her madam, like you said, told her nothing because there is nothing to be told. Meaning? It means she does not have to work in uniforms. Yes. She's not like every other palace maid. You don't get that yet, do you? Maybe when you do, you will learn to talk to her respectfully. Hold on. Just calm down. You mean she does not have to work in uniforms? I'm off to an errand that Lola sent me. Alright. I'll see you later. Thanks. Thank you. I hear you have walked the longest here. How long is that? Please. Don't even try to be friends with me. I would prefer we stay far from each other. Besides, you are not like every other maid, like she said. Okay? Far from each other. Follow your lane. My dear, are you not lucky? 
a university graduate, done with your service, getting married, all at the same time. My dear, I am not lucky, but blessed like you. Indeed you are. No way. She will never agree that she's blessed. Uh oh. <laughs> Even with her current status, mm. no now. Come on. A palace cook? Is that the status you speak of? Come on. What is better than dining and whining with way artists? Being a graduate, maybe. Come on, with the kind of work you do and the amount of money you make, I'm sure you can go back to school if you want to. Well, I'm not ungrateful. I thank God for where I am today and where He's taking me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you really need to thank God. I appreciate Him more and He will do more for you. What's that? Um, so, just me, my friend. How is life at the past? No, 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 no. You just me. How is the wedding plans? <laughs> Tell me now, <laughs> because I do not want to miss any single detail. Give me what's up. Okay. <clears throat> Your food here. The king and Lola came home for lunch. I was wondering if you would want to share a table with them. Oh, I have my lunch here. Your food, my friends. Thank you. Excuse me, please. There is something I dislike in people. 
and that is trying to get things complicated. Um, I'm sorry, my prince. Did I do anything wrong? You know I always have my lunch here. Why didn't ask if I would um, share it with my parents? Oh, that. I'm so sorry, my prince. I was only concerned about you. You what? You concerned about me? What does that mean? My prince, you are always locked up here. Every day, all day. So, I thought it would be good for you to, to join your parents since they are home for lunch. And also an opportunity for you to come out of here. Please, my prince, I'm sorry if I really offended you. But that was far from my intentions. Sorry, my friends. I feel pity for him. You feel pity for the Prince of Umwedo Kendo? What does that even mean? How can a full-fledged man mm -hmm. wake up every single day of his life, gets locked up inside the room, and keeps punching at the laptop's keyboard? I mean, I, I, I don't understand it. That is called walking. He's doing his job just like you're doing yours. He makes more money than the people that go out there every day. And what kind of job is that? Prince is a Hollywood screenwriter. He writes for a major studio in Hollywood. Hollywood is the American movie industry. You know that, don't you? Oh, just like Nollywood is the Nigerian movie industry. Exactly. And he makes millions punching the laptop keyboard, just like he said. Seriously, for me, it's not enough for him to always lock himself up in the room. I mean, it doesn't make sense. Oh, he's not complaining, so don't do that for him, okay? Chair up. Hooray. Chair up, okay? The sweetest one for me is love. The only one for me is you. Ooh, yeah. Every day I'm thinking about you. I'm crying. I'm still waiting for your own confirmation. You're waiting for my confirmation. Confirmation of what? The king and Lolo confirmed to me that Chimu is better. Oh, that. Well, um, she only serves me the food. I don't know about other services. So how has the food been? Good. She's a good cook. Yeah, she's good. Mm, that's good to know. Ah, at least I can now go about my business knowing that my darling husband is not being served with some kind of bad food. Well, I mean, it's still. I know you are. <laughs> Honey, I'll have to sleep. Okay, I'll have to go to bed now. Please, I've got an early start tomorrow. You are always locked up here. Every day. All day. Why don't you give up already? I will only give up when the royal family gets the much needed grandson from the prince. What makes you think that you are the right person to give the prince a new child? Look, this is beginning to look crazy to me. I am a daughter of an Ichi. So? That makes me eligible to be married to the prince. So, 
we are not talking about you getting married to the prince. Not just you having a male child for the prince. Don't you think giving the prince a male child will automatically make me his wife? Really? Mm -hmm. Tell me, how does that work? Uchenna, no royal son will have a child with a woman outside wedlock. And if you don't know that, your head is blocked. My head is blocked, yet you keep coming to me for advice. What does that make you? Oh, Muchina, you don't know how frustrating I am getting over there, do you? Look, if you ask me, I will say that you have just one option left. Make friends with the new cook. I don't see how that will contribute. Make friends with her and see how you can manipulate her so that you can have access to the prince's food. Then you can add the portion. But I hate her! Well dear, you will have to give up some of your love just to get what you want. Moreover, what is in all this for me? If you win. When I win, not if. My dear friend, if I rule, you, my friend, rules as well. How do I even start with this friendship? You are always locked up here. Every day. All day. So, I thought it would be good for you to, to join your parents since they are home for lunch. And also an opportunity for you to come out of here. Please, my prince. I'm sorry if I really offended you. Would there be any problem before I come to see you? Um, do you want anything? You would have called the intercom. Or did you call? Oh, so sorry I missed your call, my friend. Calm prince. down. I did not call any intercom. Do you have a minute to spare? I would like to have a word with you, if you do. Uh, why not, my prince? Uh, uh, let me get you a seat. Get one more seat. Sit. How do I even start with this friendship? I told her to stay away from me, and she's already doing so. 
Okay. Maybe I should swallow my pride and apologize to her for asking her to stay away. Maybe that's a starting point. What? What is this? What am I saying? No, 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 no. Have I certainly gone blind? What is this nonsense? What is the meaning of this? What is the meaning of this nonsense? The prince leaving his study at this time of the day, not for anything important, but to sit down and chat with this ugly, useless black goat. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Something must be wrong. Something is definitely wrong. My prince, I'm sorry if what I said made you very angry. I'm so sorry, my prince. No, no, no. It didn't make me angry. Um, but it got me thinking. I couldn't sleep last night, and that's why I'm here. My prince, I'm so sorry hearing that again. Please, forgive me once again. I'm so sorry. You don't have to apologize to me. I just want you to be sincere. Tell me the truth. Why did you say that? What do you know about me that made you say that to me? I was never expecting this, my prince. I don't even know what to say. Feel free. And talk to me. Because that's the reason I am seated here with you. Don't be agitated, right? I am very harmless. Just tell me why you say those words. Well, my prince, I have not lived here for a very long time. But I know that I have stayed long enough to observe what is going on around here and how people live their lives. And my prince, I really feel pity for you since I discovered how you spend your days. <laughs> do, you, do you mean I don't live a good life? No, my prince. I may not have the proper understanding of what good life truly means. Because obviously I've not lived one myself. But I don't see how locking yourself up in the room, day in, day out, is a good life. <laughs> what you call locking up is actually called work. I work there. That's what I do there. Who are you? How dare you make such a rude remark about my life? You crazy? Who made you the judge? Where are you from? Huh? See, you have you don't have to feel pity for me. I'm the one that's supposed to feel pity for you. My prince, I may not be rich enough to have all that I need, but I have freedom, my prince. I socialize with others, and that is one of the things that make life worthwhile. I'm, I'm so sorry if I offended you with my words once again. But my prince, I made those remarks in all honesty. I think you're being too hard on yourself. If I'm asked to advise you, my prince, I think you should loosen up. Relax sometimes. Hang out with friends. I mean, you can play some tennis or even soccer. Well, I, I don't know what I'm saying, my prince, but truly, I believe I'm making a point. And this is how I have jeopardized my job. I'm sure he's sending me away immediately. Good day, my friends. Good day, my friends. Did you see that? Yes. The priest just walked out from the direction of the boys' quarters and so. <laughs> they were seated together when I came in. Asama, what is your point? My point is, since I started working here, 
The prince has never come this direction. Suddenly, that black monkey showed up. He did not just go that direction, but he sat with her. Hi! He sat with that black monkey. <sighs> see, Asama, I don't see why this should be a problem. You could have come around to discuss some important issue. What is your problem? Mali Fair, you don't know anything. See, I shall never be held responsible for your cluelessness, oh, because you're just dumb. A queen, so that is what you are. Please let me pass. I saw the prince walking out of this place as I came in. What am I expected to do with that information? Was there an emergency? Because that's the only reason he would leave his study for this place. You said he would never come here for any reason. Um, I can see. I see you're really getting along with him. But please. Do not overstep your boundaries. You got just a maid in this palace. <laughs> you obviously like troubles, don't you? You made it very clear to me that I should stop talking to you. And I'm doing that already. Like you likely said, I should follow my lane. So why don't you stay in your space and let me stay in mine? Why not? And for your own information, the prince came here to give me a message. If that makes you feel better. Excuse me. Excuse me. Don't knock me. Now you have answers to your questions. I'm leaving. She does not think that I am a fool. Message from the princess indeed. Black goats. Oh! I was supposed to be making her my friend. It just messed things up. Oh. Chinwe, sweetheart! Chinwe! So you are not coming with us? I really have to run off with this mother that I'm this evening. It's okay. I'll try explaining to Sophia then. Come, 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 please. Um, remind me of that uh, new cook uh, background. Chinwe? And what do you mean by her background? Yeah, um, you said something about her father sending her out of the house and then she, 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 she lived. She was living with a friend that did what was. That happened. got involved in a robbery and was jailed. And then. Um, Good Samaritan took her in, right? Yes, she met the woman through a friend and she began living with the woman before we ran into each other. And the same woman happens to be the one taking care of the child he had from the guy. Exactly. I didn't think you paid attention when I gave that narration. Yeah, I, I didn't really pay attention too, but um, she made a comment that got me thinking. She made a comment? Yeah. She said I'm being too hard with life, um, work, day in, day out, you know, without taking breaks. She said that to you? Well, even to quote her words exactly, that she feels pity for me. That seems not to have a social life. She, she said all that to you? I mean, what does she know? She has no idea the millions you're making while you're locked up in here. Did you hint her? Do I need to go into that? What does she know? Mm -hmm. Just like you said. She knows nothing about your career, so it is not a problem if it appears all strange to her. <laughs> Baby, you know what? Let me run along. Sophia can forgive you for not coming with us. For me? Mm -mm. Alright, baby. Take care, but let me know you're not. Sweet, this one for me. 
is love. The only one for me is you. Hurry, I'm scared. I'm sure he'll be very angry with me. You should have thought about that before making such an insensitive comment. But I was only concerned about him. <gasps> the same concern I told you to get out of your head, right? What do you think would happen now? I avoided his gaze when I served them breakfast. But now he's just going to be himself and I. Confused. So, okay. do you want me to go with you? You know that's not gonna happen. I know the princess is so fond of you and all that, but it won't prevent her from getting mad at you if you fail to serve her husband's lunch on time. Just pick up the train. Good afternoon, my friends. Good afternoon. You are wondering why I'm not working? Well, I took your advice. I went out for a walk. Just a short walk. About you, Sidi, my friends. I could not sleep well last night, knowing fully well that I offended you with my words. I'm so sorry, my friends. But you didn't offend me. You just put some thoughts into my head. I mean, some good, good, healthy thoughts. Sit down. I should sit. Yes. I want to have a, I want to have a chat with you while I eat. Uri, can you listen to me this once? What is your problem, Asa? Does it mean you have no other work to do than to monitor people when they work? Yes. Part of my job in this palace is to make sure every department is working well. Really? Yes. I can see how well you're doing the job. <laughs> it's over an hour she took in the princess lunch. <laughs> Why is she not out? This is about you, again. Asa, what has she done to you? Apart from taking the position you wanted, what else? <laughs> this is not about me, but about what is about going wrong. And what is about to go wrong? Yes, what is about to go wrong? What is she still doing in the princess study? Is she not just supposed to drop the food and get out? What is she doing there? Maybe the prince now thinks it's alright for her to wait while he eats. Or Let's say, maybe the prince loves it that way. Let's assume the prince wants it. How is that your problem, Asa? I keep forgetting that you are a big fool. And you are a bigger fool. Mind your business. Get lost. Mind your business. Mind your business, Asa. Mind your business. You can't even mind your business in this palace. Come, don't just get lost. Believe me, my prince, I made that comment out of concern. My prince, I felt you're not getting the best out of life. The best? Yes. Wow. I can afford anything I want. Yeah. I met me on this wire and walked up here, talking on those key cards. Yeah. What life is about? My friends, I believe you're familiar with the saying that money is not everything. Yeah, I know that money is not everything. My job 
My friend, are you truly happy? Do you think I am? I mean, happiness. Because I know what happiness truly means. No, I mean, what are you doing before my wife is born? What level of happiness did you have before she got you in our house? Can you simply explain to me what happiness is? My friends, you're right. Life has not been so good to me. But I can tell you, my friends, I truly know what happiness is. I find happiness when I joke, laugh, play around with loved ones. My friends, I find happiness when I forget about all I need to achieve and focus on the one I really have. I'm impressed. Thank you. Very, very, very impressed. I apologize for if I offended you to do with my, my comments about your past. You see, I was only amazed that the wonders of those who attract my pity is the one to pity for me. <laughs> I must say that um, you changed my perception of life. Actually, I don't know the amount of time I'm going to myself. I'm going to see what you can do. It may not necessarily be damaged by things. But I'm sure you'll feel better when you get enough recreation. <laughs> what uh, kind of recreation do you suggest? Hang out with friends. Invite them to come see you. Or you go over to see them. Whichever that works for you, it's fine. What if I don't have friends here? <laughs> come on, my friends, don't tell me that. Of course you do have friends. Well, I lived all my life in the United States. I came back here eight years ago on the insistence of my father after I got married. <laughs> my prince, you mean to tell me that if your father didn't insist, you wouldn't be back? Maybe. All my friends are in America. Now, talking about friends, you mean I should invite them here? Bring them here in Nigeria, we have fun, catch fun, then after that, I'll fly them back to the US. My prince, there are so many ways to relax. The most important thing is that you have realized that sometimes you need to relax and think less of work. I understand that you sit down here and type and make millions all the time. But then, my prince, you should also understand that money is not everything. If not. You permit me to tell you something. You are such an amazing woman. <laughs> Thank you for changing my understanding of life and attitude to work. You see, it's something I will not forget in a hurry. <laughs> Please don't make me cry, my prince. All the same, you are most welcome. I should get going now, my friends. Two hours. You were in there for two good hours. Wait, was he choking and you tried to help him? Why not answer me? Turn and answer me, you idiot! <laughs> the last time I checked, two things happened. One, I was not employed by you. I do not owe you any explanation on how I do my job. Secondly, you made it very clear to me that I should stay away from you, even though I do not know the reason for that. So why are you so...
suddenly interested in what I do here or what I do not do. Because I am the chief maid in this palace. That is why I want to know. So tell me. Obviously, in your dreams, you are the chief maid. Unfortunately, I was not told that when I was employed. Most importantly, you are a maid. I am not. I need to watch this before it gets worse than this. Like you said, I spent two hours after the prince ate his food. And if I don't wash it, it will smell worse than this. Jobless fool. Is this that timid girl that arrived here the other day? Who thought I had to talk smart? you just saw is the thief of an iceberg of the real thing. Are you serious? What you just saw is the thief of the iceberg of the real thing. Are you serious? Yes, my And friend. if this was not the real thing, that means the real thing is gonna be crazy. Oh my God. <laughs> my friend, seriously, you need to see that for yourself. There's even this one that goes like this. Okay. I learned this one from my maternal. <laughs> I've never seen a thing like this in my life. <laughs> you have not? Yes. That is indeed a shame, my prince. Given that you live in the middle of tradition itself. What does that mean? You are a prince. And you live in the palace. And most oh. times, some of these locals bring the dance to the palace to honor the king. Oh, but you know, I... I, I... Now, I have time. You've given me more than enough recreation. And I guess you're happy about that, aren't you? I'm happy about that? That's a one million dollar question. <laughs> you want me to be sincere with you? Okay. You have changed my life oh. within this short period. Oh. Yes, you have changed my life within this short period. And my brain has relaxed. And it works better than ever. You know, my employers in the United States, they wanted me to infuse some Nollywood classics in what I write. At some point, I was confused. I mean, it was like everywhere blank, <laughs> you know. But with you, you know, fresh ideas were kind of flying into my previously <laughs> caged brain. <laughs> and then um, the mail I got last night, Guess what? What? They confirmed that they loved it. I um, They like it so much. Wow. And I owe it to you. Oh. Please, <laughs> don't stop coming close to me. Oh. And my recreation and companion. Come off, face, <laughs> my face. Of course, of course. Did you even hear them chatting in there? Yes, I did. Why was I not called to get that food? And you think it's normal? To me, it's normal. She's expected to be closer to anyone else than we are. More like a sister. Is that not what the princess said? Jeez, oh. look at her coming. Is that a meeting or what? 
Why was I not invited? You really took a wire at the sun today. <laughs> yes, the prince has turned me into an entertainer. Well, he said he needed to get his mind off work, so I always do some traditional dance for him. Well, let me show you some dance steps. Yeah, sure. <laughs> There's one that goes like this. <laughs> Ah, this is beautiful. This is beautiful. Yes. Ah, seriously, I know I am not a wonderful dancer, uh -huh. but I think he likes it. Now my job has been rewritten. <laughs> oh my God. My dear, let me let me dance more. Okay. Okay. Hi, it's fine. It's okay. It's okay. Oh, the prince likes it. He does. And I'm glad he makes him happy. Mother, he has changed. I can feel it. In what way? Well, not in a bad way. But my only worry is that I do not know where that is coming from. I get it. Now I know why you are worried. You want to be your husband's only source of joy, right? <laughs> Mother, every woman would want that. I know. But it's selfish anyway. If he's been able to find happiness for himself, then I'm, I'm happy for him. Come to think of it. Have you bothered to find out what this is new joy toy is? Mother! <laughs> there is no joy toy. Oh. He's got no time for that. And you know it. He simply said that he has been able to find a balance with his work. He oh. now tries to relax in between his work. And he simply also said that he has been able to find a clue to blend in with our Nollywood into his Hollywood creations. Something his partners in the US had always wanted from him. That's great then. You know, this is writing career. We've, we've not been his fan, you know. But um, it's good for him. Since he's soaring higher, I think we should be happy for him. Since it makes him happy. You are losing it, Asam. No, you are losing it. Listen, Ure, our job here is not just to clean and serve. Our job equally includes making sure everything in this palace is going on well. I see. Yes, that is why I'm not going to sit around and watch things go wrong. No. Asama, you don't have fat to support your dreams. Like you always don't have fat. This is exactly the same move you made that got him sacked. And now you want to get his replacement chimney sacked as well. Why are you this heartless? Don't hit me. Why did you hit me like that? Are you stupid? I am not heartless. The fact is that you are too blind to see that someone is trying to skim her way into a dangerously advantaged position. You are not making any sense to me. She is getting too close. I mean too close to the prince. And I think the princess deserves to know. And if I may ask, how is that your problem? Is the prince your husband? Is he your brother? Yes, tell me, what interest do you have in the prince? Because I am beginning to feel that this is personal. Fine. Let's assume the prince decides to have a taste of the woman in her. How is that your problem? Are there no adults that can do anything they want with their lives? You are an idiot. I can't believe I am hearing this nonsense from you. This is a palace for crying out loud, in case you don't know. A palace, she said, not a monastery. Why are you making a case out of nothing? 
as if you would not readily bang his brains out if he as well as us make a little move towards you as you. Enough. I will not tolerate any form of insult from you. Never. Go ahead. Go and tell Princess Helen that she will spend time with the prince and she'll be sacked. Maybe that will get you the sack that we all have been waiting for. Nonsense. Leave my presence. Rubbish. Silly thing. She knows nothing. Empty brain. Rubbish. It's your momentical. Stupid. I hate her. She doesn't understand. I am in front of the BQ. And um, I'm looking around and, and I'm not seeing uh, the damages that um, justifies the progress budget proposal that I received. Yeah, I am insisting that you send someone to the palace um, to explain things clearly. Mm -hmm. I will call you back. I'm surprised seeing you, Father. I thought you were supposed to be at the meeting. Yes, I was at the meeting, but it was shifted. And I'm home now. And um, I decided to look at the renovation proposal that engineer Anna Kwanze, you know, brought to me. Good day, Your Majesty. Are you okay? I am. And you? Sure. Do you want me to pretend that I did not see that? Do you? Is there anything you would like to tell me? What exactly? I mean, like you're spending your time with the cook in her room. I don't get it. I did not ever think that you could go so close to the boys' quarters. And uh, now you are in one of the rooms of one of our workers. Hmm? Dad, please, please don't get the wrong idea. I mean, it is nothing. Now you make me sad if you say it's nothing. You really, really make me sad. Because when I saw you coming out of that room, I was happy because I felt there was something. But now you tell me there is nothing. It makes me really sad. Are you for real? Are you for real, Dad? I don't get it. Prince, my son. I'm shocked and disappointed that you could go into that room without doing anything reasonable. What kind of person are you? Are you a man or a woman? Dad. Tell me. Uh, Dad, she has a man in her life. And I'm sure you didn't know that. That even makes her even better qualified. Oh, yes. Because a woman who has once had a son is better qualified to have another. She has a better chance to have a son than Helen who has had just a daughter. And that's it. Whether a male child or a female child, all depends on the man, not the woman. <laughs> not the woman, Dad. Mm. Biology. Biology, my son. Because in actual sense, not you or I. No one actually knows what goes in there. And that's the truth. Come on, my son. Come on. My son. That cook 
could be the answer to all our prayers for a male child. I can assure you that you have my support if you wish to marry her. Okay? Think about it. Kings. Kings. Kings in this part of the world. Do you have anything to tell the king? Um, I'm very sorry, Your Majesty. But I don't understand you. I am talking in connection with what happened earlier. Do you mean to say that you do not have anything to tell the king? I did to talk about it immediately because I know what is going on. Yes, I know. You are sleeping with my son, uh. aren't you? Yes. You see, you changed my life for good. Mm. All these years I thought I was living a good life. I never knew. I was barely a sister. <laughs> but you were happy, I guess. Well, I didn't know what true happiness is. But now I know. It is not about how much you have in your account or how much you make, but how balanced your life is. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, mm. you taught me how to think less of work sometimes and how to enjoy good moments with the loved ones. <laughs> I am very sure about it. Please. Please, Your Majesty, I'm very, very sorry. I will never let it happen again. Not ever. If you want me to resign, then I will do that immediately. But please, the princess shouldn't hear about this. I beg you, please. please. Why? Why don't you want her to hear about it? No. Now, it's okay. Come on. Get up, sit down, and wipe away those tears of yours. Come on. My son, whom I forced to leave the opulence of California, to come back home here and learn our tradition as a prelude to becoming a king, must have been serially sex-starved that you graciously Helped him out. You should be congratulated and not punished. Okay? Now, have you noticed anything that is happening here in this palace since you started work here? Oh, shit. No, not at all, Your Majesty. Okay. Now, have you noticed that something very vital is missing here? A male child. That is what is vital. Anyway, you and I know the importance of a male child, especially to a family like ours. I have told my son, the prince, to take another wife who will be able to give us a male child. Since Helen, his wife, is unable to, but he has refused. You and I know how important it is, especially to a family like ours. Now, this is how you come in. If you can get this thing that is already happening between you and my son more serious, get pregnant and give us a male child, I swear by my honor that 
I will change your entire life for good. Oh yes, I will do it. I will do that for you. Anything you want, I will give it to you. Do you understand? Take care of myself, not like I'm a baby. Aha! Uh -huh. <laughs> Talking about not being a baby. Take, take this. Get some things for your son. Spend the weekend with him. You can resume work on Monday. On Monday? Or if you want to prolong it, trust me, nobody will query you here in this palace. Okay? You need to see a doctor. Helen, you don't have to do this. You already paid me my salary. And now this. Don't worry, I can comfortably take care of my baby with the money. Don't you but have... Chichi, 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 do not get me upset. Please, take this. I was supposed to have done this a long, long time ago. But I've been getting carried away. Please, get something for your boy. At least I'm supposed to pay him for not having his mother around him. So this is my way of saying thank you for kidnapping his mother. <laughs> You're such a wonderful person. That's right. I've never seen a woman as godly as you are. Thank you so much. But you, my dear Chinwe, is godlier than myself. I mean, most times I feel weak towards the fellowship with the bragging. But you, Chinwe, you love to fellowship. And that explains the godly part of the discussion. That's fine. Now you have to see a doctor and say me hi to your son. <laughs> How did I get myself into this position? to lie to her about my health because I needed some time off. Auntie, they feel very horrible inside. I understand. What was I thinking? She is like a god to me. Not only did she give me a job, Auntie, she, she has been very nice to me. She cares for me as a sister. She treats me nicely in the front of everybody in the palace. And how, how did I pay her back? Sleeping with her husband? Oh no. My dear, you don't need to kill yourself. Don't be too hard on yourself. Hmm? I believe what happened happened for a reason. What other reason other than stupidity? I don't think it was stupid for you to have cared about the prince. I was not in the position to do that. His wife was, not me. That was how everything started. Don't worry, you have the, the whole weekend to spend here. Okay? Relax. Eat and look after your son. We'll talk about it later, okay? I'm going to see someone. And um, Abel is asleep. He's in the room. So. Can cause destruction and depression. 
She's not in this palace. about your work like that before. It is useless. It is useless, honey. Walking without relaxing. It's useless. I thought you were happy doing that. Hmm. <laughs> Let's talk about happiness. What does that mean to you? Can you define it? Well, never mind. I guess you're, you've been too busy to have noticed that I relax more this time. And um, I'm happier. I'm, here, I'm happier, uh, you know, living like that. <laughs> That's fine. I... I need you. I need this specially for you. Do you want to have some now? Hmm? Trust me, they are very tasty. <laughs> you what? Your Majesty. Is this how far you're willing to, to go in your quest for a male child from the prince? Well, I was not the one that told our son to be fond of the woman. I'm only taking advantage of the situation. And will asking my lord to support me in the asking for too much. What about Helen? Have you thought about her? She does not deserve this. Helen will be fine. She's still the first wife. She should be the only wife, Your Majesty. I am not in support of this. Oh well, let me ask you. Supposing, supposing the lady is already pregnant with our son's child, what are you going to do about it? Excuse me. This nonsense you're talking about. Excuse me, Mom. Is that why you called me? Is that why you called me out? I left what I was doing just to come and talk about this. Why, Mom? Not when you are in the center of it all. Jawele, how could you? How could you do this? That girl was brought in by Helen, your wife, to help her. Why would you take advantage of her? Mom, I did not take any advantage of anybody. I didn't. Forget about what daddy told you. He was just making up things in his head. I don't think so, son. You slept with her and she has confessed to your father. How could you, son? 
How could you not even think about your wife? Why could you not even think about Helen? Oh no, stop! What is this Helen all about? So about Helen, 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 what about me? Don't you think about me more? Don't you think about me? You know what? You want me to tell you the truth? Yes. I did get intimate with her. Not because I'm weak, but because, because I'm drawn to her. She changed my life for good, mom. How could you? Ijawele, how could you? Where was I when all these things were happening? Of course, good question. Good question, mom. Just like my wife, you barely chasing money, looking for business. You forgot the important things of life. Those things, Jingwe drew my attention to. And I feel younger, mom. I feel younger, and I owe it to her. Sana, I don't know what she did to you. And I honestly do not want to know. Because of whatever that must have happened between both of you, your father now wants you to marry her. Just because he believes that you need a second wife who will give you a son. My son, please. End this now. End this whole thing before Helen hears about it. I beg of you, please. The sweetest word for me is love. The only one for me is you yeah. Every day I'm thinking about you I'm crying and wait to see you again Where is she? Where is she? She's not here, my queen. Of course I know she's not here, dummy. That was why I asked. I'm not blind. Oh, yes, my queen. She has gone home for the weekend, my queen. Is she coming back to this place or she's gone forever? She's returning to work on Monday, my queen. None of you should upset the peace in this palace. Okay, Be warned. And one more thing. Tell her to see me as soon as she gets back. I'll personally yes, do my that, queen. my queen. Yes, my queen. <laughs> that rat must have stolen a fish from the oven when it is still very hot and now she's going to suffer the pains of a bun's tongue <laughs> just just get out and want to see that oh my god this is just sweet get <laughs> just get out <laughs> yes I think, so. I think so too she's in serious trouble and i'm going to sit and watch as it unfolds <laughs> i love this Oh my God! Look at you! Look at you! Get out! The sweetest one for me is love. The only one for me is you. Yeah. Every day I'm thinking about you. I'm crying. I'm waiting to see you. He said, "If I can reproduce a son for the prince, that." But he would build me a duplex and make life very comfortable for me. C can you imagine that? That's a good news. Do you know that the king is indirectly asking you to marry his son? Auntie, don't say that. What are you talking about? I'm feeling very bad that I already betrayed her by sleeping with her husband. The guilt still kills me up until now. What are you saying? Indeed, dear child. Listen, my child. The world has evolved that nobody cares about who sleeps with him. It's no longer news. So forget about it and move on with your life, okay? Auntie. 
Anyways, once I get back to the palace, I'm resigning. Resign? You want to resign and leave the, the, the prince that has feelings for you and went personal with you? Are you? Auntie, why are you not talking like Madame Rita? The angel I lived with all these years. How sudden have you changed? <sighs> what happened? My dear, I'm not going to force you into anything. But think about your past. Consider your future. And make a decision yourself. The sweetest one for me is love. The only one for me is you. About you, I'm crying and wait to see you again. Oh, falling in love with you was the easiest thing I've done in my life. Oh. Dad, I, I, I cannot do that. I can't. Uh, Prince, if you could share your bed with her. Then, why can't you marry her? Father, I cannot marry two wives at the same time. I can't. I am telling you as your father and leader of this kingdom that no one can stop it. Not even Helen. You are free and entitled to marry as many women as possible. Oh, yes. And you, you have a thing for this girl. And I can see it. Father. The truth is that she changed my life for good. Oh, oh, you see? She did. Good. And I owe her whatever happiness that I have today. But it's not enough reason for me to marry her. I don't want to hurt my wife. I don't want to hurt Ellie. Hurt is very ambiguous while dealing with women. Because what could be pleasing to one woman could be hurting to another. Haven't you thought about this? Your point? My point is that she will not be happy with you if you take another wife. But she will be happy with you if you get a male child. Even though it was not from her. Haven't you thought about this from this point of view? Haven't you? Oh, come on. He didn't have to worry. Hmm? Mommy is going to make more smoothies for you, okay? And um, when was the last time you even had? Hi, baby. Done already. I thought you were rounding off with the script on the devastation of gentle mutilation. I can't believe you allowed me to step into the study, even on a Sunday. Baby, you will have to go to your room. Mommy will continue with your hair later, okay? Tell me, this particular story wasn't interesting, right? Don't make fun of my stories. It is not funny, and I'm serious. <laughs> Maybe I'm not making fun of your stories. I'm not. You know that. I can never do that. It's okay. But are you really okay? I'll be fine if only you can allow me to take a nap.
The sweetest one for me is love The only one for me is you yeah. Every day I'm thinking about you I'm crying Good morning, Lolo. Um, Uri told me that you asked me to see you as soon as I return. And why are you not on your work uniform? Listen, I hate to repeat my questions. Um, I'm sorry, Your Majesty, but I don't, I don't dress in their uniform. Really? Oh, I see. The princess gave you a rare opportunity, and you think you're better than the others. She gave you a rare opportunity of being close to her husband. And indeed, you took a good advantage of her husband. Enough! Enough, Lord. Maui, you may, you may go now. I am not done with her. Leave now and go back to your work. And um, do whatever you like. Is that clear? And by the way, the prince did not join us at dining this morning. So you may as well go and serve him breakfast. Your Majesty. I don't, I don't like that. What are you trying to do? Threaten her? Question her? What exactly? What? She shouldn't be here. And what do you intend telling Helen is the reason for your second lady that she brought in? You certainly will not be telling her that her husband was cheating on her. Because that will break her poor heart. Why? Are you doing this? Leave that woman alone. If you cannot stand her, then just let her be. But she remains here. I do not like what just happened now. And I don't want it to repeat itself. I'm not just talking to you as your husband, but I am talking to you as Ezendo of Omo Edo Kingdom. Don't let this happen again. And I hope I have made myself clear. That wasn't nice. You could have at least told me that you're going away. I'm sorry, my prince. Given all that happened, I had to leave. I know that my father is very persuasive. You shouldn't have told him what happened between both of us. My prince, I can't stay here any longer. Lolo is really mad at me. And it will only take a while for the princess to find out, and I don't want that. No. She will not find out. I'm still speaking. I've missed you. I've missed your company. I've missed your love. You are not going anywhere. Everything will be okay. I promise you that. My prince. Let me get your breakfast. The sweetest one for me is love. The only one for me is you. Yeah. Every day I'm thinking about you. I'm crying and wait to see you again. I... I can't put a finger on it. He's gone cold towards me. Hmm. The prince I know is fond of you. Not lately. I feel like I'm living with a total stranger. I've tried to ignore it, but... 
yesterday was just the height of it. I think the place is stressed. Yes. It must be his work. No, 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 no. I, I don't think so. I've never complained about his work. Besides, his work is one thing that I know that keeps him happy. I... I actually called you because I need prayers for my family. Especially for the prince. I can't live with him like this. It is fine, my princess. Don't worry too much. I'm sure things have not gone bad yet. But I'll remember him in prayers. You're welcome. But my princess, you have to pray for him. You have to pray for him. I believe your prayers will be more effective for him. Okay? The sweetest one for me is love. The only one for me is you. You do this to yourself. Your son is barely two years old. Have you told anyone else? That's okay. It has to remain that way until we figure out what to do. I don't want to have an abortion. And who is talking about having an abortion? Of course, you cannot abort it. Like I said earlier, you have to keep it to yourself up until I figure out a better way to handle this. Okay? And I'm actually speaking from the royal army. If the king and the queen find out that the one I brought to serve and cook for them is pregnant while still in service, they will become very mad at me. When I come back, just just um, take a deep breath, okay? Mm -hmm. When I come back, we'll talk about it. I'm already running late for work, okay? Please be very good and take care of yourself. The sweetest one for me is love. The only one for me is you. Yeah. Every day I'm taking a bath. Don't worry about it, okay? You will be fine. I will see to that. Everything all right? Father. Yes. She's pregnant. Chiwen is pregnant. She's pregnant for me. Yes! Congratulations. 
Congratulations, my son. Congratulations. Exactly what I'm talking about. Now, how soon can we can we find out if she's carrying a male child? Father, this is complicated. How? I am confused. I don't know what to do. Oh, come on, you don't have to be confused. Okay? As soon as we are able to ascertain the gender of the baby, we will go and pay a bright price. Oh, yes. <laughs> what about my wife? Me. Helen. Your wife? Yes. <laughs> she will be fine. You don't have to worry. Every responsible and reasonable woman should understand. The throne needs a hair. And since she's unable to give us one, then the needful must be done. Exactly. Okay? So, what about Chigwe's oh. man? The man she had a son for. What wow. about him? That one? Is that why you're worried? Oh, come on. You don't have to, my son. I already had an extensive discussion with her on that. But the man never paid her bride price. <laughs> so, she's all yours. <laughs> don't you see it? <laughs> oh, God. Now, where is she? Come on, son. Let's go and, let's go and find her. Come. Sorrows of the king. Talk to me. Don't tell me you came all the way to sit and stand to my face. My princess. Maybe I should have come here months ago. When I first noticed what was going on. I'm sorry, my princess. I blame myself. I just blame myself for not coming. Going on where? At the palace? Yes, my princess. And it has to do with the prince and and Chingwe. And I think this may have gone too bad now, beyond redemption. Now, let me enjoy the show. Find out. 
tonight. Deny that my husband is irresponsible. Deny it because that is the only way I won't strangle you right now. No, Henny, I'm, 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 I'm sorry, Henny. I, I, I can't even explain how it happened. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You are not denying it. I'm so sorry, Helen. But I can't. He's the one. He's the one responsible. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No. No, I mean, I'm sorry. <laughs> Around here. Get out of this palace. Do not ever get anywhere close to this palace or to my husband ever again. Take every pain with you. How could anyone do this to me? What did I ever do to deserve this? I have been a good wife to your son. What? What did I do wrong? Where did I go wrong? I believe that it did not happen intentionally. Your Majesty, you once told me that nobody can cast a spell on anyone under the protection of the King of Umedo Kingdom. Has it suddenly changed? Did she cast a spell on him when he did it? Tell me! What did she give to you? I am not a man, The only thing I can say is that I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You had to stop. That's you. Did you suddenly forget? Oh, you are? Helen, please calm down. Everything will be handled appropriately. Oh yes, I know how to handle it appropriately. The first step is to let her go. Yes, I brought her into this home and I have every right to ask her to leave. I have asked her to leave and she's leaving and will never smell the walls of this palace again. She can't leave. Of course she's going to leave and she will leave. She's carrying my son's baby and no royal blood will be taken away from the four walls of this palace. For your majesty, this is not... You should let her be. She can't leave the palace. She's going nowhere. I have heard your prayer group countless times praying for this 
for a male child in this royal home. And for that reason, I tolerated them in this palace. She cannot leave. It is possible that God has answered our prayers through her. And I want you to understand this. at all. On the contrary, these things happen sometimes. I once had a secret meeting with the king where he told me that he had asked you to get a second wife. The one who would give you a son. But you refused. He said your reason for refusing to get another wife was because you said it would be unfair to me. Um, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for hurting you. I am very sorry. I understand my fate. I really do. I understand that the royal family needs a son and cannot wait for me. I didn't want it to come this way. Why her? Why Chiwen? A girl I picked up from the streets and brought in her to help. Why would it settle for her? She changed my life. I could not help being drawn to her. Tell me. Tell me, how did she change your life? Just tell me. Helen, please, I don't want us to go into all this. Please. I just want to make sure that you're okay. I want her out of this palace. What? You heard me. You want her out of the palace? She's carrying my baby. Oh, who cares? Who cares what she's carrying in there? I care. And I'm sure that my father cares. See. Please, Helen. Let's just find a way to make this work. I don't want you to be sad. 
I, I, I don't want you to be sad, neither do I want to be unfair to Chimwe and all my unborn child. Please. Please, I'm begging you. Honestly, Helen, I did not plan for it to go this way. What do you mean? It was a very innocent comment I made. And I can't even explain how it turned out this way. I'm sorry. I am interested in knowing exactly what you told my husband that practically changed his life. I was worried that he walked too much. So I advised him to take a break sometimes and relax. But then he asked me to start spending time with him since he doesn't have friends around to hang out with. It was an innocent request, I suppose. And then I cannot even explain how we got here. I'm sorry. Chingwe. Chingwe, I. I brought you in here so you could work. Earn some decent money to take care of you and your son. But no. You. You decided to give yourself another work of. Cancelling my husband. Now let me ask you. What do you know about life? About careers? Who are you to advise a well-trained US screenwriter and a prince as a matter of fact? What do you know? I might not know anything. Obviously, because I do not have the best education. But I'm very sensitive enough to know that a man's life does not depend on money alone. Happiness also. Chimai, I have... I have come to with you. Please go. Just just go away, please. Your son and your bun baby will be well taken care of. Just leave the palace, please. Helen, if you were in my shoes. Would you go? Chiba, please. I can't stand seeing you here. I can't stand seeing you here. It will cost me more heartache than you've done already. Please. Uh, I had it. I'm sorry to disappoint you. The king ordered me not to leave this palace. So I cannot disobey the orders of the king. I feel your pain, my daughter. <laughs> Believe me, I do. You know, the prince is my only child. Just like Sophia is yours at the moment. But, but your husband did not jump on one of the maids to get her pregnant. Neither did he get another wife. Maybe because my only child is a male. Please. Don't misunderstand me on this, please. You know, I've secretly fought this whole thing. It's so sad that it has escalated to this point. I, 
I blame myself. If I had not put my work first, if I had continued cooking for my husband, maybe, maybe all this would have been avoided. No. No. You don't need to blame yourself. There is absolutely no way you could have sacrificed a flourishing career just to be a wife. I don't want you to keep blaming yourself. Rather, let us blame the devil. warned me. She did warn me, but I foolishly trusted everyone. My dear, <laughs> I want you to know that I am with you on this. I will keep talking to the king and the prince until they do the right thing. Please, mother. Please. I want her out of my sight. I want her out of this palace. I know she's carrying a baby. It will not change anything, but I just want her out of this palace. I can't... I cannot stand seeing her anymore. Seeing her will shorten my lifespan. I, I beg of you, mother. <laughs> I see what I can do. Now that the king is in the Fumuido kingdom has come into this case, we have to be careful on how we move. I respect her, but don't I deserve a little respect myself? Don't I? Oh, I see. I shouldn't talk, right? After all, I got pregnant for a married man, so I don't even deserve any respect. Obviously. Chief, you are giving it a wrong I, I want you to understand how she feels. Okay. If you were in her shoes, you feel the same way. Greetings, my friends. Your food is here. Taking it away? Don't I deserve a little thanks? Keep quiet, keep quiet. What do you mean by I should keep quiet? I will not keep quiet. And no one will insult me again in this house. Of course, you should have thought about all the insults that would come your way when you decided to open your gutter legs for my husband. Well, he likes those gutter legs. Enough! Enough of this nonsense, Jingwei. You don't talk to my wife like that. Why shouldn't I talk to her like that? And don't you shut me up! Well, let's see how your wife makes you happy. Rubbish. You know, 
I will never let her insult you. I, I stood up for you. I stood up for you. Oh, thank you! Thank you for standing up for me when a girl I picked up from the gutters insulted me because you gave her the reason to. Honey, please, can't we resolve this? Can't we sort this out amicably? No, I can't and I won't. You know what? What just happened here has changed everything. What do you mean by that? I have tried to live with this, but I cannot anymore. You have to make your choice. You can't do that. You have to choose between Chiwe and I. And that decision has to be made by you. And the decision must be made now. You know I cannot lose you for anyone. Then make her go. I do not care about what the king said. You have to send her away. Oh, I do. Wait. Wait, calm down. Calm down, please. Calm down. What about the baby? It will not be fair. I do not care about being fair. Were you fair to me when you... When you slept with her? It's either she goes or I do. So you have to make that decision. And I'm waiting. Look at me. Look at me. I want you to look at me. Look at me. Where is my Prince Charming? Where is my Prince Charming? Where is he? I want him back. I want him back. I want him back. I, I want him back. I, I just want him back. I want him. I want him so much. I want him back. You cannot do this, Chiu. Remember all that she did for you. But you know I never intended for it to turn out this way. I'm obviously not going to kill myself. Chinwe, then leave. That is all you can do to make things right. Jovita, I am pregnant for the prince. I'm sure you know that already. Is that not what we are talking about? You are pregnant for the husband of the woman that picked you up and cleaned you up. That is callous. Seriously, seriously, Jovita. If you are here to judge me, you might as well take your bag and get out. Uh -uh. I am not leaving. I am here to help you put your thinking right. Chinwe allow this woman to enjoy her marriage in peace. I'm sure you'll be fine having this baby outside the four walls of this palace. Mm. Yes. Now let me ask you a direct question. Will you be happy having this young born child outside the four walls of your own husband's house? That is the difference. Chinwe, I am married. But the prince is not married to you. He will soon get married to me. Really? Yes, you heard me right. And let me warn you, this is going to be the last time you will step your foot inside this place. Except you're looking for someone else. Shh. 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 Could have been avoided. I cautioned you, but you wouldn't listen. 
Now look at it. Oh yeah, so sit down. Yes. Um, I had a meeting with my son uh, last night, and I do not know if he told you about it. I did not. But... You did not? I am sending you to an ultrasound technician because I want to know if you are giving us a son or not. Your Majesty. Yes. This lady is just nine weeks pregnant and the sex of the baby cannot be ascertained until she is like 20 weeks gone. Well, and that was why I said a special technician. And he has promised me that um, he is going to use the most advanced technology to perform this kind. Um, by the way, the name of the hospital is Hearty, Hearty Hospital, and um, my son will take you there. Is that clear? Yes, your mother. Mattis, this guy cannot be having the same problem every week. My husband is not happy about it. See, madam, the last time your husband carried this car come here, I tell him to just change the radiator. See, once we change the radiator now, eh, this car, both the engine, no more heat. Now one way, I will tell you, press radiator. Eh? So, how much is a brand new radiator? Eh, then get direct Belgium. If you want that one, it's very... What's ah! Leave this head in first, I'll make it. Your guy, the age, I beg. I'm not waiting for you. See, since I know him, every day with the age. Every time I saw the age. Waiting. Guy, forget this thing. Man. Leave this talk with the talk for another day. Give me something, I'm not with it. You, you know what you go do, eh? You go find one place, Dan. Eh? Once I finish with my madam now, nah. what's the matter? Come on, okay. come on, come on. Come on. Adam. It's Adam. You. It's me, Jovita, Joe's friend. Of course. Wow. So you're out? Looks like it now. Out and about. I'm so happy for you. So when did you come out? Uh, it's been a week now, actually. Wow. Good of Chimwe. You know, I went to her father's place and I was told nobody has seen her for the past two years. Have you seen her? Of course, she never stopped being my friend. I was with her two weeks ago. Two weeks ago? Yes. You know, the while I was locked up, Chimwe never came to see me. Not even once. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. Maybe she has her reasons. Even will not solve the problem. And staying will solve what? I gave you enough time to make your choice. And you did. Helen, there is no choice to be made here. You remain his wife. First wife. Not his choice wife. My queen, you do not even understand any of this, do you? After all, the king loves just you and never got another woman pregnant simply because you could give him a son. How can you say that, honey? You've made a choice. I'm fine. I'm, I'm very okay with your decision. I 
I hope this happiness of yours lasts forever. Hey, come on, honey. Bless you. This is not fair. She does not deserve this. Well, I never asked um, Helen to leave, and no one did. Not in so many words. I will always blame you for this. Always! Son? Do not bother with whatever she has said, okay? I know Helen will be fine. She will be fine. believe this after 15 good years <sighs> you could have looked out for her in the first place if she was that close to you oh baby I tried I did I did okay well not too many times but I went to her father but he couldn't help there was no other mutual friend that I could have asked well, the most important thing is that both of you have finally reunited. That is the most important thing. I really need to help her. She needs help. She really needs help, but I do not know how. Giving her money seems to be the only option. But considering how we were and what she's been through, something in me keeps telling me that she needs more than mere offer of good money. Hmm. I understand. You know, she's a hawker of cashew nut. You can as well make her an importer of cashew nut. By so doing, you will never, never run out of your favorite snack. Never mind. <laughs> I'll figure out a way myself. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm kidding. I was only joking. But you know what to do now. <laughs> of course. You're a business consultant that companies pay millions of naira just to get your expert views on possible areas of investment. I think you're in the right position to know what to do for an old friend. I don't even know why you bring it to me in the first place. I don't know. I wallow in literature and then my soul is so tied to it. Your soul? Mm -mm. Your soul is tied to me, not literature. And. And. So shall it be for both of us. Till death do us part. Till death do us part. <laughs> <laughs> but then she really needs help. 
Please. Please. This man here said he's a gas repairer, so he was sent to fix one of the gas cookers. Um, take him to one of the meetings. Yes, my please. Come, 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 come. Come, come, What's this crap about you coming here to fix that cooker? What's gas cookers if I may ask? Adams? I am sure asking drunk questions is not a credible way to be united by the father of your son. This is a rare opportunity made possible by a friend. Me. Make good use of it. Please, make good use of it. Alex, I believe you are here on her brief. What's going on? What exactly are you planning this time? To take away a very wonderful opportunity given to me by God? Adams? If I were you, I would leave God out of this. You and I know very well that God has absolutely nothing to do with this. Okay? I don't betray my old friends. You are very special. Yes, my Let's settle this thing down. I'm still out. your woman, what did I get for your reward? What? She got the king to fire me. I got sacked without benefits. What? You mean, Jinwei got the king to fire you? I can see you don't understand what powers she hold in that palace right now. Tell me about it. Since it was confirmed, that she's carrying a royal son. The king practically worships her. She can get the head of the queen on a platter if she so wishes. This is interesting. Just glowing that information another day. What I want now is my job. I need it back. That job is my life. I became friends with Jovita. The very day your baby mama threw her out of the palace for telling her the truth. She called me when she found you. 
and I volunteered to bring you to the palace. Why should I lose my job in the process? Tell me, why should I lose my job? I don't think I've said anything funny. So why is that face like that? You know, on the contrary, you've actually said something very interesting. Look, I can ask Chimu to get back to work. But the thing is, I don't want to push my boundaries. Meaning? I don't get it. So I should get ready to be jobless for the rest of my life? Is that what you're trying to say? Relax, I haven't said that, okay? Um, you'll be fine, alright? I will make a proposal to Chingwen. If it materializes, I promise you, you will be duly compensated. In fact, you'll forget that uh, being a maid was your life. My name is Adams. I make things happen. Okay? Abandon me the very moment I got locked up. And now you're what? A princess? A maid? What exactly is your position in that past? Adams, if I could remember vividly, you asked me to move on with my life. I never said that, okay? I only asked you to leave the flat for your own safety. Not leave my life. Anyway. How is it? How is also? Look, Jovita told me all that went down while I was away. Okay? I got into the palace with her help. So we have to thank her for the reunion. I know I know it's not easy. It's not been easy. But I'm sorry to tell you this, Adams. We can never be together again. Why not? Did you stop loving me? I never stopped loving you. As a matter of fact, there is no day that passes by without me thinking of you. Then let's get back together. With our son, we can be a family. It can't work. Didn't Jovita tell you that I am not pregnant for the prince? I know, she told me, okay? You just have to get rid of the pasta. No! Don't even mention it. I would never do that. This baby will change my life. I can never trade this my unborn baby for anything in this world. Not ever. Hey. I, I understand everything. I know it's not been easy. But what can I do? You know everything. You know how I have suffered. Adams, I have really, really suffered all my life. I have. And this is only opportunity I have to better it. I'm really sorry if I'm hurting you. But you have to go. Yes, Adams. I can do anything within my power and my reach to make you go. I really have to live my life so that you can live yours in peace. Please. I, I can't suffer anymore. I can't. Mm -mm. I can't. You really do anything to make me go away. <laughs> Seriously? Excuse me. What sort of rubbish is that? Did you? 
Of course, because the last time I checked, I was not the one that got pregnant from my benefactor's husband and pushed her out of her matrimonial home. So what I was saying about stupid low here? Are you serious? Yes. You know, all these years, I thought you really wanted me to be better. I thought you genuinely loved me. But now, I can really see your true color. Really? Don't forget, your son has a home today because of me. Yes. And where did I even go wrong by giving your sweet Adams your house address? Tell me. I want to know. <laughs> you want me to thank you for your stupidity? Well, thanks. Thank you very much, but I am here to warn you for the very last time. Stay away from me. Ooh, stay away from me. Chinwen, listen, let me tell you something you don't know, okay? I don't need anything from you. Never. Do you understand me? Even with the money you intend getting from the royal family, you can never be better than me. Oh, really? Yes, you cannot. Oh, yes. I see. So you now have the mouth to talk back at me because of this disgusting and outdated supermarket of yours? Oh, is that it? <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, <laughs> this is all mine, yes, and it's smelly, outdated, yes, mine. I can call it mine, yes. What can you call yours? I want to know. Not even with the man you share bed with presently. Is it yours? No, you can't call him mine, but this is all mine, yes. So, I don't even know why you brought your shameless self to this place to speak rubbish. Are you okay? I'm sure you're not normal. Stay away from me, Jovita. I insist. Stay miles away from me. Do not step on my toes ever again. Okay. Do not. Okay. It's a warning. Okay. I mean it. I heard you. It's a warning. I heard you. Wants a mall, and I'm going to build it for her. You want to build a mall for Chiwe? For what reason? Oh well, please, Lolo. Do not tell me you are still blaming that lady for Helen's departure. Your Majesty, this has nothing to do with Helen. That girl is just demanding for too much. On the contrary, not for what she's bringing to us. As a matter of fact, if she demands for a human head, I will get it for her. Oh yes. You know, I've always known that African kings can do anything for a male child. But yours is just ri ridiculous. Well, you are my lolo and so you are free to form your own opinion. I just thought I should let you know. And by the way, I'm having a meeting with the contractor she recommended because work is going to commence immediately. And for your own information, I will be using that land um, behind the filling station, the one given to us by the local council. Why that same land I wanted to build a gymnasium on? Couldn't you have gotten another land? Lolo, you are not ready yet. When you come with your plans, I will give you another land. 
And that's it. Dad wants to build her a shopping mall. It is because he is up to it. Build her a 50 million naira mall? What for? Who is she? Listen, I am not against the fact that he wants to make her happy. But come on, this is too outrageous. Why? Did you just ask that question? Why? When have you started thinking like this? Son, you should be wiser than this. You're not even married to this girl yet. The only bond between both of you is just the baby she's carrying. You just said it, Mom. The only bond. Is that not enough bond? Mom, you know why you're saying all this? Because you love Helen. Mm -mm. Probably. Uh -uh, it is not Helen. It has nothing to do with Helen. Ijawele, it has everything to do with your father trying to waste the royal savings. Trying to waste the royal savings? Mom, I mean, it, 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 I think you should talk this out with your husband. The royal savings belongs to him. It is, I mean, it is money. The money belongs to him, so whatever he chooses to do with it, that's fine. I've told you people, I am not interested in this family money. I got my own money. So whatever I do with mine, mm -hmm, no problem. You guys can just go and sort that out yourself. Mom, please, can I get back to work, please? Thank you. Hello? It is five months since we first made the agreement. I'm sure you know we are talking about 50 million naira here. So? So you have to give me more time. How much time do you need again? I have plans and you know that already. The king is ready to meet with the contractor. I'm sure things will work out well, so calm down. I hope you will call me soon to tell me about it. Today. 
strong, if not stronger. I can see that. Do you want me to help you with anything? It's... Thanks for asking. Hi, Sophia. She's taking a nap. Okay. When are you planning to tell them? They deserve to know. I'm at a jury of a very important meeting, so please be fast with whatever you have to say. You have not been attending our house fellowship. I had been wanted to talk to you about the new lady you employed as cook. Mrs. Onikuli, like I said earlier, I have an urgent meeting and very crucial one at that to attend. Please, can we talk about this some other time? I am worried. Worried about what? The worry hovers around you. Why do you surround your husband with women? What? First, you made the decision that every palace worker will be female, which was not a great decision, if you ask me. Then you took up the duty of cooking, which was great and relieving. And now you have employed another female to do the same. You know, honestly, I took up the cooking, but it wasn't easy. Juggling my work and cooking, it, it wasn't easy, Mrs. Sonokuni. It wasn't just easy. You could do better with a male cook. You should not allow these women flood around your husband. That is my concern. I appreciate you are concerned, and I appreciate that you really care for me. But you know my husband. You know the kind of man I married. He cannot be distracted by any woman. I understand you, and I'm not trying to underscore your man's level of integrity. But surely, you must be wary of little foxes that could destroy the vineyard. A woman is the mother of the man, and that includes her husband. I just want you to be a mother to your man. And I can bet you that my husband isn't complaining at all. So please, can I go now? I'm already running late. I... I do not want it to look like I'm in a competition with Chiri. So I'm not telling them. That's not the best. People have long stopped doing the best or right things. They no longer work with their conscience. And I, Helen, will not bother myself with any unnecessary thoughts. Oh. Oh God. Devil, you're a liar.
Thank you, Your Majesty. And I assure you, you will have no regrets. Good. 50 million naira, that's what the estimate states. Is that correct? Yes, Your Majesty. Good. You see this lady here? Yes, Your Majesty. Yeah. She is the jewel of this household. And I want the best, the very best for her. Anything I need, anything short of what we have on that plan is not acceptable. Do I make myself clear? You have your majesty. to us by our benevolent king tops by 10% deal my dear you have to go to the hospital Hi. except you want to give birth to the royal prince in this dirty room My son, she will be fine. Okay? I know that. Thanks. And besides, what's more? To us, a son shall be born. <laughs> have a baby all right I'm sure that will happen to her but what I'm not sure of is what will happen between you and I what will happen between you and I I don't understand I thought we were agreed that children must never find out that you and I still talk but less of knowing that 
we are in this shopping mall deal together. So tell me, why did you have to show up here without prior notice? Come on, Adams. See, nothing has spoiled, okay? All you need to do is to take your own share and abscond. And I'll do the same. Do you understand? Just abscond. Yes. You know, I'm very sure that will happen for me. But I'm not too sure if that will happen for you. <gasps> Adams! See? Jesus! Adams, what is this? Please just take it off. What, what are you trying to do? You know, I promise to give you part of the money as compensation for losing your job. Be you making demands on me shows me how unreliable you can be. Um, please, Adams, I don't need any money. Just let me go. Please, don't kill me. I don't need the money, please. Just take all, take all, please. I'm sorry. My name is Adams. I make things happen. So, if she's okay, why can't we see her? What, what are you doing here with us? She's okay. I promise you. Doctor, and uh, the baby is um, okay, right? We would like to see mother and son right now. I'm sorry, Your Majesty. But she didn't make it. What? What? Well, you just told us that she's okay. Yes, your wife is okay, but the baby. She didn't make it. What? Is, is she? Now, wait a minute. Is this some kind of joke or something? Are you telling us that the baby is a girl? Was a, a girl, Your Majesty? You see a problem? Friends, my son. And disappointed that you could go into that room without doing anything reasonable. What kind of person are you? Are you a man or a woman? Dad. Tell me. Ah, Dad. She has a man in her life. And I'm sure you didn't know that. That even makes her even better qualified. Oh, yes. Because a woman who has once had a son is better qualified to have another. She has a better chance to have a son than Helen who has had just a daughter. And that's it. Whether a male child or a female child, all depends on the man, not the woman. <laughs> not the woman, Dad. Mm. Biology. Biology, my son. Because in actual sense, not you or I. No one actually knows what goes in there. She's carrying my son's baby, and no royal blood will be taken away from the four walls of this palace. Not at all. On the contrary, these things happen sometimes. I won't take your time. And may I request that you don't take mine too. My prince, you look worried. Is everything okay? My wife just put to bed. Thank God. <laughs> Good news. And the baby didn't make it. Hmm? 
My prince, I'm sorry about that. Is your wife okay? No woman that loses her child should be okay, right? You're right, my prince. You know why I'm here? I have a question for you. The baby was a girl, and your scan said she was carrying a boy. Do you have anything to tell me about that? Do you have any explanation for that? I want to know what went wrong. I'm still waiting for you because I'm running out of patience. What happened? Is it that your scan was not thorough enough? Or what? Speak to me. What happened? My prince, my scan was accurate. It was your wife. She was the one that told me how she wanted everything to appear. Yes, your wife. <laughs> my suspicion was right. She bribed you to lie to us about the gender of the baby. Am I right? My prince. My prince, I'm sorry. I'm truly sorry. You see, ever since that incident happened, I've not been myself. It kept on disturbing me, disturbing me to the extent I could not I could not tell anyone. I could not even come to the palace. I could not talk to you. I could not come see the king. I guess I'm sorry. By a hit and run driver, and up till now the police have not arrived here. This country. Are you outside? I have come to see you, but the gate man said you went out, so I'll be waiting. Okay, let's go. No, please. I would rather talk to you out here. It's about your wife, Princess Helen. My wife? 
Ever since she left this palace, she has not been picking my call. Did you see her? Yes, I see her every day. She probably will not like what I'm doing. But I'm unable to keep it all to myself anymore. She left the palace pregnant. And she will have a baby in few months' time. My wife pregnant? Let's see how your wife makes you happy. You have to choose between Chinwe and I. And that decision has to be made by you. And the decision must be made now. You know I cannot lose you for anyone. Then make her go. I do not care about what the king said. You have to send her away. Oh, I do. Wait. Wait, calm down. Calm down, please. Calm down. What about the baby? It will not be fair. I do not care about being fair. Were you fair to me when you... When you slept with her? It's either she goes or I do. So you have to make that decision. And I'm waiting. Look at me. Look at me. I want you to look at me. Look at me. Where is my Prince Charming? Where is my Prince Charming? Where is he? I want him back. I want him back. I want him back. I want him back. I just want him back. I want him. I want him so much. I want him back. Yes, my prince. I thought it wise for you to know. In case you want to see her, I can help you. I did not see this coming. I thought it would end well. After they made you work your ass for three months there, they pushed you away without anything. Three months. Three months of hard labor and humiliation in the palace. Thank God that Helen came back and asked them to free me. If not, I would still remain there till now. Hi. <laughs> but they couldn't have sent you away. Just like that. How did they expect you to survive? Should I not be thankful? Should I not be thankful that they didn't throw me into jail? Is that not the right punishment for scamming them off 50 million naira? That'd be so bad. That'd be so this is really bad. Yeah? How did they even expect you to now live your life? Where will you even start from? <laughs> my but sorry, my dear. I, I wish uh, Adams were still alive. <laughs> you would have, you would have found a way to get to him. I know that he will accept to get to them. I did not live my life well. I did not. I hurt people that loved me. The sweetest one for me is love The only one for me is you yeah. Every day I'm thinking about you My, my precious uh, The only right thing to say now On behalf of my queen my prince and the entire family is to say we are deeply sorry for making you pass through so much 
And I want to, we want to specially thank you for granting us access to your presence. And we are deeply humbled. Uh, um, um, my king, I'm sorry I'll have to quote you. Because it's certain that you will continue if I keep calm. You are finally here because the news got to the palace that I'm delivered of a male child. I see no remorse or repentance in your humility, apology and explanations. Rather, I see that desperation that pushed you into the sorrow you face today. The son is your son. But I'm going to raise him to be a responsible son of this kingdom. But you know what? He stays here with me. I do not know of my daughter. My daughter, please, I beg you. I do not want you to see me or any, any of us here as having a hand in this. And I want you. Maybe, yes, I take responsibility. Absolutely. But please, find space in your heart to forgive. I want you to see God in all this that has happened. Because God wants to teach us all as human beings a lesson. And that lesson that God wants to teach us is that we must always completely have faith in him no matter what happens and always wait for his time and that is one lesson that i have been taught and that i hold strongly your son our son is a royal blood and i plead with you that you should come back with us to the palace where he will be raised and I promise on my honor that the imagined glory of the palace will always supersede the former cross my heart please my talk I, I must say that we love you, we, we also miss you. You have always added value to the palace. You are a lady of light, you are an incandescent and a lady natural intelligence we would love to have you back and i want to specially come to me my daughter come come please come. i want to thank you specially my daughter we want to thank you for ending this call for me and in my sorrows. Find this place in your heart to forgive us. Bless.
My friend. Can I still call you my friend? Anyway, I was not expecting to see you around this area. I'm so sorry about you, baby, okay? I'm sincerely sorry. Adams, too. Everything. Too many bad events happened in a short while. Congratulations. You have won. No. Mm -mm. There is something you refuse to understand here. <clears throat> There was never a competition. Yes. I was trying to save you from you. But you would not let me. Um, anyway, I stopped to buy a shoe and ran off. Thing I've done in my life. Ooh. 